Thank you very much. How are you? This week, America is grieving the loss of President George H.W. Bush, who is being laid to rest today at his library in Texas. Yesterday, Melania and I were honored to attend the state funeral at the National Cathedral and to pay our respects to the entire Bush family. The memorial was a beautiful tribute to President Bush's extraordinary life and a noble legacy to public service. He was a wonderful man. We will always remember this great statesman and beloved American patriot. He really was very special. So thank you very much. Thank you. This afternoon, we have many wonderful guests in attendance to celebrate Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights. Come on up here, David. That's great. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Please. You honor us, truly, with your presence, and you inspire us with your courage. Thank you very much for being here. Each of you has endured evil beyond description. Your treasured attendance at this ceremony calls to mind the words of Elie Wiesel. For the dead and the living, we must bear witness. Today and every day, we renew our solemn pledge. Never again, right? Never again. From the depths of despair, the Jewish people built a mighty and majestic nation, a thriving democracy in the heart of the Middle East, and a light of hope to all of the world. My administration will always stand with our cherished friend and partner, the State of Israel. We have left the horrible Iran nuclear deal and imposed — it was a horrible, horrible deal. Should have never been made. And imposed the toughest ever sanctioned — we sanctioned uh, Iran like, I guess, few have ever been sanctioned before. We must never allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon or a nuclear bomb. We cannot let the world's leading sponsor of terror, a regime that chants death to America and threatens Israel all of the time with annihilation and constantly screams out death to Israel to possess the deadliest weapon on Earth. We will not allow that to happen. Exactly one year ago today, at my direction, the United States recognized the true capital of Israel and quickly moved Thank you very much. Well, we quickly — it is actually six more, but we want this minor <laughs> I've actually never heard four more years. That's an interesting one. Now it's uh, — we'll go, we'll go for six, and then we'll all be in very good shape. We're going to all be in very good shape. 